Dusty sand, lots of Escondido to the nice cool pool. Yeah, Leslie, I mean, I think Mike's pretty jealous of you today. <laughs> I would be. I, everybody should be. The, uh, everybody that's here at the YMCA has just got to a leg up on everybody that's starting out their day because this is how they started out their day. In the pool, looks fantastic, having fun, and they've been here since 5 a.m. We've been talking about a lot of wonderful things this morning, not only about child safety, also um, how to stay hydrated, how to stay safe in and out of the pool during the summertime. And then one of the most important things, especially if you have small children or just any family members, is um, CPR. So with me right now is Captain Filson and then also... Uh, Go ahead and introduce yourself, Mr. Sanders. Firefighter Josh Sanders. <laughs> okay, and so we're talking about CPR, but this is not the CPR that uh, we see in the movies. No, it's not. We encourage everybody to take a class, a full class. It's usually one to four hours, and that's what you would want to do for a drowning victim is do normal CPR with mouth to mouth. But now the American Heart Association endorses a hands only CPR. You can learn it in about 15 minutes. It's a very effective CPR for an adult who has sudden cardiac arrest. The YMCA offers it. They've been a great partner with the city of Chula Vista to promote these types of safety events. And Josh today is going to demonstrate to you, go Leslie, how easy it is to learn. All right, Josh, go for it. Now, this is Manny down here. Sure. And so uh, Manny is, went through something. He's, uh, he's all messed up here. Uh, so <laughs> go ahead and tell me what it is that we're going to do. So the bottom line, Leslie, is anytime you show up to someone and you find them unresponsive, all you're going to do is find the center of their chest, place both hands on the chest, and at a rate of 100 per minute, uh, pump on their chest hard, deep, and fast. Okay, go for it. All right. So we've already determined they're unresponsive. I'm just going to go ahead and start compressions just like this with my arms locked out. And I'm going to keep that rate going until first responders arrive. Now, so why don't you jump down here and uh, try it out yourself? Okay, how hard are you supposed to push? Like I said, hard, deep, and fast is kind of the mantra, but essentially you're looking for two inches of uh, compression depth. And then are you worried about hurting them? At this point, no. their life exceeds any type of uh, injuries. Okay, you're going to have to hold this. All right. Okay. So that's really, like, tough to do. So you get tired, I imagine, but you just keep the thing going. And I assume adrenaline will keep you going as well. Um, okay, so then with the CPR, um, you, there's also mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR. And tell me when that's appropriate. Okay, for any child that has an event, uh, and typically for a child that's a drowning or a choking, that's when you want to do the full CPR, which is compressions with mouth to mouth. So this CPR we showed you today is just for adults, and it's for a sudden cardiac event, typically happens in the home, and by doing what Josh showed you, can increase their chances of survival two to three times. So it's very effective. And again, uh, don't worry about hurting them. You just do it at repetitive. Deep, hard, and fast. That's what we said. Really, at that point, any injuries that they may have or may occur during your compressions are trumped by just trying to save their lives. So that's really your top priority at that point. Got it. All right, David and Alexis, sending it back to you. Good safety tips for the summer. All right. Well, enjoy your day out there. We'll just be warm in studio today. Yes, sweating in the studio. Yeah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thanks, cool. Bye.